G'day everyone, it's Dwayne from Wall of Sound and I'm sitting here at Knotfest with these two legends, Toddy and Youngie from King Parrot. Hello. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Lads, it's uh, how's, how's the tour been so far? How, how is it? It's been a pretty massive run. You've gone from Adelaide, then the whole East Coast. How's it been? Fantastic. Yeah. Great, uh, great crowds. We've been playing early on the Knotfest shows. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we've had a good turnout every morning. Today was probably the biggest. Melbourne was really big. Yeah. Sydney was good. Today was great. Yeah. Today was good. The rain, I think, the rain br- brought some different energy. You know, I think they were excited to, to get out early. Brizzy, yeah, yeah. Brizzy loves a bit of rain. We don't get much up here, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, every other time I've been up here, it's been a sweat box, so. Yeah. Guess like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Guess were worried it was almost going to have to be called an extreme weather event. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, a bit of drizzle about. Yeah. <laughs> That, uh, that, that we had some rain today, yeah, but it, yeah. it was okay. It worked out all right in the Just end. Just get your galoshes on and your bloody <laughs> raincoats. Yeah, yeah. No, there was a dude down the front had a nice poncho. Did you see him? No, no. Him no. and his wife had a poncho on. I was like, wow, that's a first in Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think they sold them up here, so <laughs> that's cool. But um, look, at it's pretty much, it's to me, it's a cherry on top of what's been a really big year for you guys. Youngie, I talked to you backstage at the Duke, I think it was back in August, maybe, it was before your US tour. Yeah. And I asked you about the Pantera support gigs and I asked you if you'd be, how you felt about it and you said, I won't believe it until it's happened. Now it's happened in the US and it's happened on home soil, including your hometown of Melbourne. Now that it's happened, can you believe it? Oh yeah, right. I mean, that's, that's. I think I did a post on our social, on, or on my social media anyway. The day after we supported them for the first time in yeah. America, and I was like, "All right, I can say it. We did it now." I was like, "I just think the, you know, like being growing up, being Pantera fans as kids, and um, and then having the whole experience, and then the build up to it, and then you know, planning around it, and it's like, this is pretty crazy." Because like a few years ago, we would never even thought this was possible, and then it's happening, and we're doing it. And yeah, it's it's been yeah, awesome, and it's just such a great tribute to the brothers. You know, it's awesome. So, it's uh, really cool to have been a small part of it. Absolutely, yeah. and um, and also like doing walk on stage, going on there. Like I think it was you and you and um, Mr. White were up on stage doing doing walk in your hometown what what's that like to look out at your mates and your your home crowd and will you be doing it today you're a brizzy boy maybe I, i've thought about it I, I, I t- i've done it once but I, I sort of don't do that as much like i feel a bit like a bit of a dork up there you know but oh, I, I don't know i don't know because i'm always sitting behind a drum kit yeah. so then when i stand out the front it's like oh shit what well, do i do how do you think i feel every fucking day <laughs> but you're used to it you're used to it do yeah. you feel a bit i've got, the, I've got of the, the protection kit. of drums and cymbals it's like you know, I can hide. It's, I can hide my totally face. It's a different can, thing, right? Though. It's it totally is, different. I, yeah, I yeah. played bass in bands for years before I did this. Yeah. With King Parrot. So I was always like behind playing bass, singing, whatever. And then as soon as I was up there, it's just as a vocalist, it was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's you like, got to move. Like, yeah, what do, what do you do with your hands? Am, you know, <laughs> yeah. am I walking right? Do I look like a doofus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I've done a couple of gigs as, as a lead vocalist fill-in for some mates' bands, and I, yeah. I feel weird doing that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, you feel very naked up there until you get comfortable with it, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Always well, got something in front of me. Well, it's been um, it's been 10 years since I um, just like found out about you guys. I saw you at Soundwave in 2014. I think that's where you met, um, may have met Phil. Yep. And 10 years later, you still got the opening slot on the festival, but this one's an international festival. You guys are on the up. Um, but the thing I saw, remember as well, because I remember Michelle Madden was on the stage with you guys yesterday in Sydney. Right. She was on stage in you um, 2014. That was good to see because I've been a long-time fan of her. Um, how did she go? Did she did she kill it? Always. Yeah. She, she loves <laughs> She's it. She's great, yeah. man. Yeah. She loves it. We didn't even plan it. She was just standing on the side of the stage and we were like, I didn't even, she just came to hang out, you know, and... Uh, she goes, Matt, Matt, can I? And I was like, fucking get up there, do it. Yeah. So we, we didn't plan it or anything. It was just spontaneous. Yeah. She, does, she comes to a lot of shows and yep. like whenever she comes out, she usually jumps up and has a yell. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's got a throat on it, mate. She, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, man, and she can sing like Bloody anything. Oath. Like uh, she's going to do some, some new music soon. 
and uh, it's brilliant. I've heard some of the demos and stuff, and she's incredible. She's an incredible uh, musician and an incredible singer, and uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for that, Michelle Madden fan. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm a fan. Um, now, you've got new music yourself. You've played one, Fuck You and the Horse You Rode In On. The first yeah, time I've yeah. ever heard that, it made me laugh because it threw me back to my childhood. I remember Pee Wee Herman saying it in Meatballs too, And he was like, this one and this one. He's like, what's that? It's, it's fuck you and the horse you rode in on. And then you sang about it. I'm like, this is the best. Um, you've been in the studio. You've been working. How long until we see actual um, new music being released? Uh, well, we've been writing a lot, so I've been going to Melbourne. I actually live here, but I've been going yep. to Melbourne a lot. Uh, we've been just writing heaps of stuff, making sure, I don't know, really really trying to make the best songs possible. And yeah. uh, it's been an awesome process. We're nearly there. Uh, but, yeah, just for us, we've just been busting a couple of new ones in the set. We did yeah. a different new one at the end of last year. Um, and then we've also had a new, another new one in the set today. Yeah. So uh, I that remember was called Get that. What You're Given, the first, the opener. Yeah, yeah. I heard that on the boat, on oh, Simo's boat. No, we didn't play that on the boat. Oh, you played, didn't? That was Punish the Run, so that's another one. Oh, jeez. So we've been, it's sort of, I don't yeah. know, it's just a We're thing. We're testing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, because you know when you, you know when a band does their first album, that's all the material they have, and they've played yeah. those songs so much yeah. live, and it's sick. But then it's like this whole, oh, you got to keep it a secret before you fucking play like new songs so we're just like no nah, let's just play it for yeah. us and then then we road test we play them live it's like oh that was really cool that felt good or that didn't work or yeah. tweak them whatever but well that's that's sort of the thing yeah just throw I a mean, few newies in from an outsider's perspective i think you're on a winner because i remember it, um at the duke gig you threw one into your sound check and yeah. then a bunch of guys just started running around in circles bouncing up and down <laughs> and i'm like this is just a sound check guys and yeah yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that. Um, so, this this is the last show. Obviously, you've done your last show on the Knotfest tour. Right. Have you got more live shows coming up, or are you going to have a break to focus on the new music? Uh, I think we're gonna we've got a little bit of stuff coming up. We might be going up to Indonesia to play some shows. Oh, and then, wicked. Um, maybe it's got some shows in Tasmania, but um, you know, just to, just to keep it ticking over and stuff, you yeah, know. And then and we, we're going to record next month, so that's the uh, that's the main focus and. Um, and then, yeah, once we get that going, you know, it'll be video time. It'll be getting the ball rolling to, to start touring again and, and get this new record out. So um, that's kind of where it's at at the moment. Just sort of taking the focus off playing live so much and just get into the studio and get it done. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look, man, like I said, like I found out about you guys, you guys were always listed as a must-see band. I went and saw you, I was hooked straight away, and 10 <laughs> years later, we're sitting here, and you guys have just done one of the biggest tours in the world. So I can't wait to see what next. what's next. It's all up from here. Yeah, right. Um, Let's and do it. I'll, I'll be at any shows that you do in New South Wales, I'll be there. Um, especially if you go back on that boat, man. That was—I thought that boat was going to sink. That was great. That was a great <laughs> show. I like the idea of everyone being locked on a boat and yeah. <laughs> so you have to—you can either watch or you can piss off upstairs. But you're there. You have to be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was unreal. It was, I like—I awesome. liked it when the boat was kind of like swaying from side <laughs> to side, and everyone just went. Whoa! Yeah, that was fucking funny. Try well, doing blast beats with us on a swaying boat. It's the best. Oh, we've got a treat for Have you. We got guys. a visitor. We've we got, got a visitor. visitor. Oh, yeah, man. if you just um, bring it, bring it probably to this shoulder. Wow. Yeah, you put it on your. What, look at the tail. A on real, it. Yeah, a I'm real on. parrot. Oh, look at you go! A king parrot for king parrot. It's this my uncle. So cool. <laughs> Oh, look at you go. You're wow. beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Hey, beautiful bird. He's beautiful. We might call him Slats. Who's a pretty boy? <laughs> Anyways, that was uh, me with King Parrot, these legends. Um, and they've just finished, so they're going to kick back and chill. And Are you guys going? You just got real nervous, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I, did. <Yeah. laughs> I didn't want to upset Slats and have him yeah. flapping in my face. So. <laughs> No I you could do some damage too. Anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks, lads. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>